with Memorial coach Bobby Allison after a 66-58 victory over Owasso in the Tournament of Champions semifinals. And it was, the score was actually, might be a little misleading because it seemed like it was a one possession game. It was a one possession basketball game. Uh, they had an amazing great start by them. And uh, Caden is a, he's a, he's a, he's a great high school basketball player and it's, he's gotten really good over there and he's got composure in the post and he's, you really can't play him one on one at the high school level. And he's a, he's a tough kid and he made good plays early and they, got, they hit some horse threes that we didn't want to give up. But we, we mixed up our defenses there. We went, we started in man and then we just did, did a scramble zone press and just tried to get them out of their sets and get them out of their comfort zone. And uh, boy, it was just a great game. The adjustments and big plays and good rebounding and good free throw shooting by us at the end. And, you know, figured out their press there a little bit and got some easy buckets and that three by Seth Pratt at the end of the third quarter. I mean, yeah, I mean, you could, there's 10 plays in that game uh, that could have been the deciding factor, but we made enough and it was a, a win against a team that can play with anybody. Braden Hubbard, 19 points and 11 rebounds. Uh, talk How about many, what, did, not, what did he have? 19 points and 11 rebounds. 19 points and 11 rebounds. And he, you know, him and Caden and Killian, they're, some of the best front court players in Oklahoma, so they really, uh, you know, they could, you could tell that those three knew that, hey, we're going good on good tonight, and um, uh, they, they both were just competitive as can be with it, and that, that was real neat to see. And it was neat to see him when we went man there late. He wanted Caden, and he did a good job front in the post on him, and Killian made a big offensive, re our big defensive rebound to get the free throws. And, Ty made some clutch plays, and Monte was just so good on Caleb Leslie. What Caleb Leslie end up with tonight? Caleb Leslie had nine points. Yeah, we held him under ten, and you know, and two of those might have been in our zone or in the press. So Monte in our man sets, I don't. He might have gotten one off on Monte. I thought Jareth Ingram made huge plays off the bench. Uh, scored seven, didn't he? Uh, yes, he. Yeah, and he yes, had, he did. And, and, he made, and, and made that turnover that wasn't good there when he got trapped in the corner, but he learned from it and kicked it to Seth for that three in the quarter. And uh, Dominic Turner and Ronnie Dixon gave us valuable minutes just to uh, where we didn't have to worry about foul trouble. And that, and, that, and that helps being with our depth. So. And now you've got another big game, another game where the stakes are high against Dell City, mm -hmm. and you have history with them. No, no doubt, no doubt. Now, ever since Coach Hatchett got over there, they've, uh, them and Carl Albert, uh, when they're in 5A, we know that it's probably roads go through them if you want to see your ultimate prize. And, you know, with them coming back down to 5A, I mean, I think 5A made a huge statement tonight. You know, two top five, five A teams beat two top five, six A teams, and uh, I, I, you know, I'm, I think five A is just as good as six A this year, top to bottom. I'm, six A's got great teams, don't get me wrong, but with Dell City and Midwest City dropping, and that's five, five A. That's that's some heavy duty stuff now.